Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and Debian Linux, one of the most beautiful and popular distro out there, has released its latest version 15.10 last month on 24th of April. Debian is one distro that has been going from strength to strength since past couple of years, especially since they introduced their new release strategy, giving alternate emphasis on performance and on user interface with its every new release. Actually, looks has always been the biggest strength of Dipin Linux, and I don't think there's any distro that can really compete with Dipin on looks. So in this video, let's quickly check all the new features and updates introduced with 15.10. Now, one of the biggest change to the distro has been the shift from Debian Unstable to Debian Stable as its base. Prior to this version, Dipin was based on Debian Unstable repo, which though contains latest software, but are generally not thoroughly tested and hence prone to bugs. Now with the shift to Debian stable, you can expect the distro to be more stable since now the softwares are not only stable and tested, but you'll also get timely security patches and update. Now Debian 15.10 has been released with both Debian stable and Debian unstable base. Old users who are on Debian 15.9 unstable can update to Dipin 15.10 unstable repo by doing system update but this will be supported only for three months to get the latest version of 15.10 with debian stable base you can go to Dipin website and download the iso from there the total size of installation image is 2.4 gigs now the installation process is pretty simple with all the standard options which are beautifully presented in this translucent background Dipin also supports full disk encryption. One thing that though was introduced in the previous release of Dipin, but you do not find in many other Linux distro, is that during installation of Dipin, it gives you an option to select full disk for installing the distro, which will automatically partition the hard disk to different Linux partition, which is optimum for your system. There's also an option to encrypt the entire disk for additional security. The entire installation process takes roughly around 10 to 12 minutes. And once the installation is over, you are presented with the very gorgeous Dipin desktop. On the first boot to the desktop, you get Dipin welcome app that gives you a brief introduction on how to operate the desktop. The dock by default is in fashion mode, which resembles to a Mac OS dock. Now, if you have a high resolution screen, you might see the desktop really tiny. So the first thing that you may want to do is to go to control center and increase the HIDPI scaling to 0.25 or 0.5x um, and then log out and log in again. This should fix the scaling issue and you can take full advantage of all the pixels of your display. I really like how convenient it is to adjust Edge IDPI in Dipin. Now in the latest version, Dipin has added few important features to the desktop. So let's go through them. First is the new auto merge feature. Now this I think is the first in any Linux distro. This same feature was introduced in Mac, I think last year. In Mac, it is called Stacks. Now when you turn on auto merge, it groups the files on the desktop in their respective categories in order to clear the clutter on the desktop and make it more organized. It's a pretty neat feature and I find it very useful to manage desktop files. And unlike Mac OS Stacks, Dipin has also added great colors to the folders. Another new feature is a dedicated on off switch for each system sound. Now you can manually mute different kind of system sound without muting the entire desktop. Now this is also a new feature that I haven't seen in any other Linux distro. Next is the new wallpaper slideshow. Now if you ask me, wallpapers are really important for a desktop. I really believe it sets the mood of a user. Dipin already has one of the cleanest and easiest wallpaper changing menus. Now there's a setting for wallpaper slideshow wherein you can give time interval to change the wallpaper. This will automatically change desktop wallpaper after the set time interval. Now there has been few under the hood changes as well. For example, default window manager has been changed to Dipin desktop environment cave-in from Dipin Windows Manager. You can expect slight memory improvement and stability with this change, though in a brief period that I've tested, I haven't seen any noticeable change. Apart from these, there have been many other minor tweaks and changes. For example, the shutdown button in launcher is now called power off and the shutdown screen now has a new sleep option. The launcher icon itself has changed 
There have been several bug fixes and minor updates to different applications as well. You can read the release log page for each and every changes. But one thing that Deepin has really impressed me as a Linux distro is the ease of using the desktop. Desktop is not just extremely beautiful, but super functional with the right mix of features and desktop tweaks. All the settings are in one place and that is in control center and it is easily accessible. For example, if you change the desktop wallpaper to say a bright wallpaper and you need to adjust the transparency settings, you can do that with just a couple of clicks. Also, if you're working on a memory hungry application, you can easily turn off the effect mode for some duration and drastically speed up the desktop. So if you have never tried deep in Linux, I highly recommend you try 15.10. This might be the perfect Linux distro for you. Alright, so that was all for today. I thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, please type that in, in the comment box. And a huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Alright, so thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.